How are you guys? This is IBU Learning, the place to develop your CAD BIM skills. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a steel truss or a steel framing okay, in the Revit. So, just a start. I am here in the Revit 2022 startup and just uh, I'll go to open the new model. Choose here this time a structural template. Click OK. Okay, so this is what we have open. Now I'll go to level one plan and in architectural tab, I'll just go to create some grid. I'll create one grid here and I'll just create another grid. here then I will just create two horizontal grid more okay for dimension I'll keep uh, the same you can choose whatever you need this one okay I'll change this one 20 meter okay so I have a span of this 20 meter by 12.3 meter. Now here I have to make the truss or a steel framing. So first I will go to a structure tab. I will create some column, corner column. Okay. This is some of the column in a structural template preloaded. So you can choose it from here, any one of the column or you can click on the load family and you will go to here structural framing and then a steel, go to a steel and you can choose it from here. Like this is universal beam, if you will go down and you can find this universal beam. So once you click open you will find here profiles whatever you want you can choose it from here and you can click ok to load but now i'll just uh, leave this one as it is i just cancel because i found this is this template already loaded some profiles so i'll choose from here one this time i'm going to choose ub3051022 and 25 I need to place one, two, three, four column at least. So manually I can place here column like this or just control Z undo and go again to the column. Make sure to choose the column size from here and then you can select the add grid and just select the grid and your column will be placed here sorry select the grids and then finish check the finish so you can see all your column is placed here one two three four i can see this from level 1 to level 2 the size is not proper uh, sorry uh, levels so this should be go from level 1 and the base of the column will be 0 and it should go up to level 2 and top is should be 0 so now this is ok if I will go to click here in this elevation we will find this column going from this level level 1 to level 2 this level i don't need this one to be in 3 meter because since this is the truss so i'll go to make it around 10 meter i think some i did something wrong instead of 10 meter I put something 
10,000 meter I put. Okay, now I hope it will be okay. Okay, so here we have if you click on 3D, you can see this 3D here. Just hold the shift key and middle mouse and then you can rotate. Now you will go to move to the level 2 and you can just change this because you can see the single line here. Just go to detail level and just choose the fine. So once you choose you will find the property uh, profile 3D. Now next step, okay this side just double click here, just drag it up, okay now we are going to the level 2 and here I have to draw the framing, so I will again go to the structure tab and here this time I am going to just draw the some beams, so I will choose beam system and here I am just going to draw the boundary of the framing and the direction this is showing beam direction so this beam direction is showing like this but I need direction to be on shorter span so I will choose this and here you can change the property you can change the beam size here and then uh, apply or you can change it later also so just I apply this one and then click here check so you can see this beam is created and now I will go to update this suppose uh, spacing it was showing that 1.828 I am going to give a spacing here one eight hundred or maybe one six hundred two meter spacing. Okay, two meter spacing is carrying last one also adjusted, so it's okay. So now we have uh, horizontal beam, if you go to 3D you can see this is the beam we have. Now this area I am just going to draw the truss here and one truss here to support this beam. Go move to level 2 plan, just go to a structural tab and go to here truss. If you select this truss. you will find this there is some truss is loaded also if not then you can again go to the load family and then you can move it back and here from us or if you have library metric or imperial whatever you are using you can select that and then you can go from the below you will find that a structural trusses double click here and you can find the different type of trusses here. So you can see this how flat uh, truss standard, how flat truss this is the already loaded here. So if you need anyone from here you can load it or you can select whatever you want and click open so it will be loaded. For me it's already loaded so I close this and now I am just going to select from here same um, so from here I can just go to go edit type and you can change the properties of this truss like you have this 305.0.25 this is showing the top charts 
so you can change it from here now I will just keep the same as it is and the bearing charts is showing that bottom I will just change this one to top and this one truss height I will just keep 2 meter and and now I will just start drawing just pick a start point and then the end point here now you move to the 3D to just look and you will see this truss is already arranged now from here you can do just select this and you can see the ma uh, maximum panel width here I just also need to change this 2 meter ok and now second thing I just if you hover over there you can see this two member is just uh, intersecting uh, overlapping with each other so just tab hit the tab key to select this and pin it and delete this member and the same thing you can do this side to so just hit the tab key to select this and click unpin and then delete this member so now this truss is looking ok if you want to change one more changes I can do here I see this member diagonal waves member I, if you want to change this it was 305 so UB UB 305 all is the same size UB 127 okay I'll change this size 127 and if you click apply okay so you can see this diagonal member has changed now you can draw the same you can uh, apply the same uh, concept for the another other side or you can just select this and you can mirror it from the center line other side and if you go to 3D you can see this is the truss thanks for watching please subscribe for upcoming videos thank you